Have new details tonight in the bomb threats that took place at several HBCUs across the nation, including some right here in our own backyard. Yeah, the FBI has now identified several persons of interest they believe to be responsible for those threats. Let's go to WMAR 2 News' Brittany Verner, who's live tonight for us at Morgan State University, and she has reaction from students. Brittany. Yeah, well, Morgan State happened to be one of those universities that received those bomb threats earlier this week at the start of Black History Month. Now the FBI is saying they do believe those threats were racially motivated. It's 2022. Why are we still doing this? You know, racism is still in today's world. Since Monday, the FBI reported more than 20 bomb threats were made to several HBCUs across the country. Now sources say at least five persons of interest are believed to be responsible for making these threats and they confirm the threats were likely racially motivated. These bomb threats should not be happening anymore, but people still have their ways of thinking, especially when it comes down to black people and HBCUs. It's just, it's sad. On Tuesday, at the start of Black History Month, Coppin and Morgan State were two of those universities who were forced to move its classes online for the day because of bomb threats that were made to their campuses. Howard University in Washington, D.C. was another university targeted for threats. What if it was real and then somebody got hurt by it? So I just didn't like that. Some people that actually live on campus were frightened and scared. According to sources, no bombs were found after sweeps were performed on all of the campuses. However, this has left many students at Morgan State with mixed emotions of shock and fear, wondering why historically black colleges and universities were targeted in the first place. It's 2022. This shouldn't have been a problem. And it's taken away from not just our lives, but like every other HBCU that we see these bomb threats. It's taken away from every student. And students like Ashley Razor says in times like this, she's sure to keep the quote and response from her school president handy to express the spirit of perseverance. Our history has been one where we have endured all kinds of challenges and disruptions, but we have always emerged stronger. This is just a minor setback, like we'll be fine, we'll be good. So hopefully they find out whoever's behind this and charge them, yes. <laughs> Now, those persons of interest were found through prank calls from a fake telephone number. And right now, the FBI has not identified any of those people they believe are responsible for those threats. Brittany Verner, WMAR 2 News.